Hobbiton, home to the Hobbiton Lord of the Rings. Now, for three years now, the location of the special place Hobbiton's been kept quiet in order to keep the prying eyes away, in order to keep the traffic down. But determined fans, mostly from overseas, have figured out where it is and they've knocked on the farmer's gate. And they quickly learned that it isn't open to the public, but that's all about to change because this is about to go on the tourist map, open to the public and become a tourist attraction. Hamish Clark in search of Hobbiton. If you've seen the movie Lord of the Rings, then you'll notice that as you drive around the countryside, you, you can see those little pieces of Middle Earth, that prehistoric planet that was created by Tolkien. But what about the little guys, the hobbits, the ones who, who lived in the holes in the hills? Where did they live? Well, we believe it's somewhere here, deep in the Waikato. Tell me the hobbits are? No. No idea. You know, the little people. Yeah. They're looking for hobbits. Where are the hobbits? And they're around here somewhere? They're everywhere. Just a case of finding them, eh? Have you yeah. seen them? Oh, there's a couple around the hotel just a while ago. Well, you get all sorts of answers in Matter Matter, don't you? But these guys here should know. Matter Matter Information Centre. Here, they feel dozens of inquiries every day from mostly international travellers. Hi, I was wondering if you could uh, direct me towards the road uh, where um, the Eno Agenda Farm is. No, you know you can't go out there. Yeah. It's not open to the public at the moment. Yeah. Can you tell me who I need to talk to to, to get out to Hobbiton? I can now. You need to talk to Russell Alexander, and he's just a little local in town here. Russell, Hamish Clark, please do it. Now, you can get me into Hobbiton? Yes, you can sure. take me there. Yeah. You're the man who can get me inside. You'll be one of the uh, first to go there. Can we come in? It's a 20 minute drive from the middle of Matter Matter to the Alexander Farm and it was a chance visit by Peter Jackson four years ago that changed their farm forever. The film company made a knock on the door one Saturday afternoon. I think there was a uh, Ransley Shield game on at the time, and it would have been probably six weeks later, I believe, when the uh, film company came back and said, well, it's Lord of the Rings, and they wanted to make the movie here. I'm not even sure whether my father at the time had heard of Lord of the Rings, but uh, he certainly knows about it now. Right, here we are. Fantastic. Look. This is Hobbiton. Wow. Looks great. Up the top of the hill there, you'll see Bag End. Then all the other Hobbit holes you can see, all the remains of them. The location had everything that Peter Jackson wanted. There were no man-made structures as far as the eye could see. No power lines, houses or roads and it looked just as Tolkien had described it in the book. Two years before shooting began, construction of the set was in full swing. The army built a one and a half kilometre road. Hillsides were excavated, rebuilt and manicured. Gardens were planted and tended for 12 months, while builders carved out the hobbit holes. Today, just half of the hobbit holes remain. They uh, looked a lot better during filming, obviously, when the manicuring had been manicured. Uh, we were obviously part of the program. We'd bring sheep in while they're making it, chew the grass off, then they'd, we'd take it out and they'd fence off individual holes to make sure they got the look and the right grass length and that sort of thing to give it the effect that they got in the, in the movie. But it's at the top of the hill that will be the highlight for Lord of the Rings fans. Yeah, Hamish, we're here. This is Bag End. This is, the, this is the one I want to see. Yep. This is the Hobbit Hole. We'll go back in time. And I remember in the movie Gandalf stood here. We arrived here and he had the stick and he went... No, thank you! You don't want any more visitors, well-wishers or distant relations. And what about very old friends? Welcome, welcome. All of the indoor scenes were shot on a set in Wellington. If you look inside the Hobbit Hole, it's nothing but a shell. The only filming was taken out across the lake. So from this vantage point, we've got the party tree just out in front of us, haven't we? With the ribbon. There's some ribbon in there still? Some yeah, ribbon? that's the remains of the party, where the ribbons have more come down. And, and just across the lake, what's over there? Just beyond that retaining wall is where the market was in the movie, and where the dirt is there, just beyond that market area, that's where the pub and the stable complex was. <laughs> How many people have come, knocked on your door and said, let me in, I want to have a look at Hobbiton? Hundreds, probably, probably thousands. Starting next month, movie fans will be able to catch a shuttle from Matamata and take a guided tour around of what's left of the Hobbit set. Some people will say, why haven't you sort of returned them to the way they were? Did everything just get ripped? 
ripped down, did it? Yeah, at the end of filming, obviously, secrecy is a big part in the uh, mystique of what was here for when they released the movie. And they took everything away in line completion of filming. And um, I think they did it, from what I gather, through all sets throughout New Zealand. And we are like, fortunate enough to have these remains that you, that you see here. What remains is a quiet, secluded place. A place where hobbits once lived. Now it's a place where people can come and relive the movie. I think a lot of people have come to Matter Matter over the last year or so and been disappointed that they can't see it. And those that do come, hopefully they go away happy. They will, and the Hobbiton movie set tours begin on Monday, 2nd December. That's this coming Monday. Now, if you want to go, if you want to, uh, best thing is contact the Matamata Information Centre if you are interested, and they'll give you the drill. Uh, but, Jen, on what to do. Uh, by the way, Lord of the Rings, the two towers, has made it onto the worldwide cover of Time magazine uh, this week. The two towers on the cover.